Two excellent fierce alternatives. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on two dapper fragrances, fragrances that I did talk about once before in my dapper fragrances review. My favorite version of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce is Dua's Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. And as you guys may know, that fragrance just sells out all the time. You can't keep it in stock. I've checked it out a few times. It seems to be only sold out. That is the best version of Fierce in my opinion. It is very, very pricey. I kinda of wanted to show you guys two different alternatives if you're somebody who wants that classic fierce DNA, wants something with some good high quality, but you don't want to deal with those dua prices and you don't want to deal with it always being sold out. I have two fragrances that in my opinion 100% go after that same fierce DNA and those are Dapper Fragrances Abercrombie & Fitch 2002 X Straight. Now the Extreme X Straight, apparently they have more concentration to them. They're a little bit stronger. Parfums de Marley Percival. I can't remember if this was my favorite dapper fragrance if it wasn't my favorite it was definitely my second favorite i really 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 like this stuff guys i normally write up a little review about these and write up a few talking points but i'm just going to kind of go off the cuff because i want to recommend these for my fierce audience people who like fierce because these are very very high quality they're different and i definitely think if you're having trouble finding the duo or the duo is a little bit too expensive you actually may really really like these before i did this review i would have said i prefer preferred the Parfums de Marley Percival to the Abercrombie & Fitch 2002 X Straight. In my opinion, the 2002 Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce X Straight, I really, really like it. it. does smell a little bit closer to Fierce than other clones in a certain way. It does have very, very good longevity and projection. If you were to spray this up a few times, you might smell this on your clothes two, three days later. It is very good. I don't know if it's the X Straight, but it also has this unique, hard to describe, slightly balmy quality to it that initially when I smelled this I was like that smells different than Dua's Fierce. I do prefer Dua's Fierce to this one. I kind of just put this one to the side because Dua's Fierce was the king but due to the price problems and due to the availability I actually really do like this fragrance and I had a buddy of mine who also really likes Fierce. We both tried out the Abercrombie & Fitch 2002 X Straight and we both tried out the Percival. For him he really really liked the 2002 X Straight version but all the times that I have tried it before, I almost have always preferred the Percival copy to the 2002 X Straight because it's so close to Fierce, but it almost has this kind of smooth Mandarin orange to the Fierce that I really, really do enjoy. Percival should almost be called Fierce Blue because it smells pretty much like Fierce Blue in my opinion. I really, really do enjoy it. Everybody would probably prefer the Parfums de Marley Percival over everything else because it is a little bit cleaner. I have pushed these fragrances and I do notice a little bit of something different in the fierce but like I said, it's not that noticeable. And then there also has a couple qualities to um, their version of Fierce that smells a little bit closer to the original because this is supposed to go after the 2002 original. I actually have not smelled the original version of Fierce. I have smelled the 2005 version, which apparently has most of the oomph, has most of the classic smell to it. But there was an original 2002 version that I did not smell. So maybe this smells like the 2002 one exactly, but there's just something about this fragrance that smells different, although it has almost all the DNA of Fierce. It probably projects way, way more than the current Fierce. I can't really say about Fierce Intense, but for normal Fierce, projects way farther, and it's just very, very enjoyable. As you can see, I have almost sprayed it all. Parfums de Marley Percival. I would say, if you're a fan of Fierce and you want a more mature style fragrance, a more overall well-done style fragrance, I would go with Percival. Even when this fragrance has been really stretched in the heat and things like that, it does doesn't really smell bad. Sometimes when you push a fragrance to like a really cold or really warm, it starts to like break down and not smell good. Percival, it just was really, really good the entire time. They both have good longevity and projection. I might have to edge the Fierce Extraits having a tiny bit more projection than the Percival, but the Percival is also very, very good. The Percival, you probably get in the range of two, two and a half hours projection than the Fierce, maybe a little bit longer than that. I just feel like this lasts a little bit longer on clothes than Percival. 
festival, but I forgot to look up the price for these. I'll try to put link the price with these down below in the video so you can see, but I'd almost guarantee you that it's gonna be way, way cheaper than Duo's Fierce. And if you're somebody like me who really, really likes that Fierce DNA, these are definitely ones to try out for an affordable price that are pretty much gonna blow the socks off of most clones. I would say compared to Abercrombie, these have noticeably much stronger smells and much longer longevity and projection and possibly much higher oils than Abercrombie. I would venture to say much, much higher oils. So just a quick video for my Fierce audience. I do have Fierce Night. I am testing it right now, but I have tested these out quite a bit. Really, really enjoyed these great Fierce alternatives right here from Dapper Fragrances, Abercrombie & Fish 2002 X Straight, and Parfums de Marley Percival. So let me know what your favorite version of Fierce is down below. For now, mine is still the Duas Vintage Fierce. It is so, so good, but it is very, very pricey. You have to buy it in that one ounce bottle. It is gonna be 50 to $60. It's something that I'd want a huge jug of because I'd wanna spray so much. So having these as an alternative is nice and I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.